Oh, now, if you are not like Zoe and you didn't save up for an epic adventure, then you want to listen to this one right now. So an epic adventure of a lifetime with one of our favorite South African adventures and a childhood hero of mine that I look up to so much. We've got Rian Manso who awaits five matriculants, an explorer, an emotional speaker, an author, and of course the producer himself, Rian Manso, and a group of distinguished professors from Stellenbosch University will be taking five matric students all the way to Antarctica. Yeah, you heard right. And that's going to be on an education educational adventure in January next year. That's like in the next few months. So Rian and Two Oceans Aquarium Education Foundation CEO, and of course, marine scientist and physiologist, Mareka Mousson is joining us this morning to tell us more about this incredible opportunity for our matriculants. Morning, everybody. How are we doing this morning? Morning. Sure. Oh, we just, when you're mentioning that now, the matrix going to Antarctica, I was excited. <laughs> I will say, take me, take I'm me. I was just thinking like, maybe I should redo my matric, you know? <laughs> like, it's, so tell me, Jan, you're an, you're an avid explorer, you're an adventure, man. I've looked up to you for a while now, but you're also heading up this epic, epic trip. So what's happening? How did you come up with this idea for matriculants to Antarctica? Yeah, Raul, listen, when, when you say that you're an admirer, I appreciate that. But the thing is that, you know, I haven't in the past been able to do anything with that. You know, so I'd go to schools, I'd speak, and, you know, I'd see the excitement in younger people's eyes and that enthusiasm for getting out there. But I wasn't able to actually translate that into giving something. So, you know, this whole lockdown time where everybody says what was born in it, you know, for me, the Matrix in Antarctica was born, you know. Take five Matrix, people that are so enthusiastic about um, exploration, adventure, um, not essentially just, um, you know, ruffling it, but also caring about the environment. So, you know, these five metrics are going to be able to do something that I think every person has on their bucket list, and that's visit Antarctica. So, um, it's me giving back in some way. I know it's not maybe the biggest way or the most um, influential way, but I absolutely feel that these five kids are going to come back after the trip to Antarctica as rock stars. Yeah, man, I think I can definitely relate to you there. I know when you're an adventurer yourself, it's awesome, and you get so excited, you want to share that story, but how better to actually share the experience, and I love what you're yes. doing, which sounds exactly that. But why on earth, out of all the places in the world, are you choosing Antarctica? Well, I think the little political angle to it yeah. all is that, you know, I, I'm, I'm a bit critical of just where Cape Town's sitting at the moment. You know, our um, concerns in our country obviously are a little bit broader than just saying, let's get to Antarctica, and I understand that. But if I'm sitting with, with um, some educational um, leads and political leads in our country, you know, there's some things that are missed. One of them is the, the Cape Town as a gateway city to Antarctica. You know, there's five gateway cities in the world. And we're probably the poorest cousin of the lot. Everybody goes to South America if they want to go to Antarctica. Yeah. Why not use Cape Town? It's five and a half hours away. Okay. Why is our city not capitalizing? So one of the big bugbears for me is that how do I take this project and have every South African, the people that are watching now, realize that you can go to Antarctica and you can go through Cape Town. How amazing is that? Oh, wow. Okay, well, I need to know how, and I need to know <laughs> what more is there, because I think a lot of South Africans just have this perception that it's just a block of ice. Yeah. What is there to do there? Why even go there? You know what I mean? <laughs> even though you're saying we're so close to it as well. But I've got to ask you, so it sounds like it's just matriculants, but who else is going to be on this journey, Marek, if you don't mind me asking you? Well, I'm going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be there? Yes. yes. That's so <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> And maybe my next question afterwards is, do you have a plus one? <laughs> 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 I to, but who, who qualifies for the trip? Who's going to be joining? So, so Rian's been very clever. Um, about this because it's a small a small crew um, the logistics is quite insane to get there and even though Cape Town's a gateway you know there's nothing easy about it but um, so he's got an incredible selection process for matrix and I'm so excited about meeting these youngsters who are obviously going to be super excited about the environment about ice yeah. about traveling about <laughs> yeah. just this insane experience with Rian as well um, but we'll also have Fadli with us, who is an absolute education expert. And he's been taking youngsters and young adults on, I don't know, so educational camps for most of his life. And then a film crew. So it's a small team. Um, we've got lots of great plans of what we're going to do. I mean, going to Antarctica is like a dream. So, so for me, it wasn't even on the bucket list because it was sort of semi-unachievable. So I'm 
I'm like a matriculant who's like ridiculously <laughs> I'm, excited. I'm watching you and, and as you're telling the story, number one, the jealousy is just going out oh, of control. Sorry. Yeah? And then number two, I'm just seeing your face just smile and light up the no, more you're talking to me about I, it. I mean, I was in matric about 30 years ago and I, this would have been the ultimate thing yeah, for me. Sure. So I can immediately identify with these kids and I'm so excited already. Um, for those will be selected, but for the whole process, yes. because it's really enriching, it's, it's empowering, and it's life-changing, certainly for me and certainly for youngsters, because where they're going to go in life is, is going to change because of this experience. So being on the ice, I think just flying in, I mean, flying in and seeing this white mass is going to be off the charge. It's like it's like next level cool. <laughs> and I wish cold. we could go tomorrow. Hey, geez, <laughs> yes. that's exciting. Oh look, it's something that I think is gonna obviously be life changing and it's a memory that'll stand with these kids for 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 life. Yes. But how then I'm sure everybody that's at home watching now is like, well, I wanna get on this trip. So mm. how do matriculants enter? What's the, the angle? How do they get involved? Are the spots still available? Um, yeah. take, talk me through it. what's happening. So Marek is part of that panel that um, brings down the thousands and thousands of entries we have already and we're going to bring it down to a top 100 and then we're going to bring it down to a top 50. The guys, um, we've got websites and of course the social media platforms but the digital um, application process is two and a half minutes, right? So they, they need to just go onto the matrix in Antarctica.coza website. That's a two and a half minute process. But the, the beautiful thing is that they can also engage with Expresso. They can, yes. they can engage with you guys, um, not to steal your thunder, but I know <laughs> you guys are giving away um, one of the top 50 seats. Yes. You know? So that's going to sit in front of Mareka and um, Mr. Wahid and um, the team. Um, Professor Jonathan Janssen, as you guys know, is, is also a patron for, for the project. And he is really, really looking for an enthusiastic individual. He's not looking for the person that is the brightest necessarily in the country. I think Mareka agrees with that as well. But um, if the guys are going to be applying, you have to convince Marika that you're enthusiastic. And you <laughs> they want need it. to be more enthusiastic than me. <laughs> the bar has been set. The bar okay, exactly. <laughs> so that's it. I mean, just please, if the guys could just go onto Matrix in Antarctica. .co.za. That's simple. All right, well, Jan and Marika, thank you so much again this morning for chatting to us and inspiring everybody out there. I think they're all going to be frothing for this competition. But a massive thank you again to you guys for joining us this morning, taking the time out of their busy schedules of adventure to join us. And of course, the entries are open to all our 2020 matriculants. Make sure to visit www.matrixinantarctica.co.za. And that's the website you need to go to to enter. And you can enter before the 30th of November 2020. And the top five students will be announced in in December and the top five will jet off to Antarctica in January. Oh, I cannot wait. Now, one lucky matric <laughs> student can make it into the top 50 simply by telling us, yes, that's us right here on Expresso, why you need to be chosen and let us know on our Expresso social media platforms and don't miss out on this epic adventure. <laughs>